Hi third graders, welcome to our instructional video for science. In this video, we are going to review what we have learned so far in the unit of organisms and their environments. This video is going to be also a good study guide for your review for the test that we'll have from this unit. So pay close attention and let's see how much we have learned so far. All right, we have added these words to our vocabulary. The first word that we learned is adaptation. We also learned the word physical adaptation and then behavioral adaptation, camouflage, habitat, and mimicry. All right, let's look at adaptation. Adaptation, we know that that is a trait or characteristic that helps an organism to survive. We learned about two different types of adaptation. We learned about physical adaptation and behavioral. Physical, it is the part of an animal or plant's body that allows it to survive in its habitat. And behavioral, it is how an organism acts to survive in its habitat. Then we learned about camouflage. Camouflage is an adaptation that allows an organism to blend in with its surroundings. Definition for habitat is the place where an organism lives and can find everything it needs to survive. And the last one that we added to our vocabulary is mimicry. Mimicry is an adaptation that allows an animal to protect itself by looking like another kind of animal or a plant. So let's begin with adaptation. Physical adaptation, again, is a part of an animal's or plant's body that allows it to survive in its habitat. Let's look at this example that we have right here. Here we have an orangutan. They can, with their long hook-like hands and flexible feet, grip branches easily and hold them strongly enough to support their own weight as they swing from tree to tree. This is one of their physical adaptation that helps them to survive in its habitat. Here we have a beautiful parrot. Parrots have strong wings because they need to be able to fly from tree to tree in their natural habitat to find food. So this is their part of the body that helps them to survive in its habitat. Here we have an emu. This is the type of a bird that have a small wings and strong legs. You see, God gave it strong legs because this one really can't fly, but they can run quickly in their habitat. And that is the part of the body that was designed for them to be able to survive in their habitat. Now we can look at behavioral adaptation. Behavioral adaptation is how an organism acts to survive in its habitat. It's what it does to survive in the habitat. It's its behavior. All right, so we talked about in a classroom about this armadillo lizard and the behavioral adaptation that this lizard has is that it can drop its tail to distract predators. If the lizard can fight off the predator, he simply drops tail. And that's one of the examples of behavior adaptation that this lizard has. Another one is that they have period of inactivity that allows this lizard to survive in an environment where there may not be enough food. When there's not enough food, they simply just are inactive. They're not running around. That saves their energy for to survive in the environment. Here I have an example of a woodchucks. These woodchucks hibernate, they sleep through a long winter, and that's something they do. This is their type of behavior that helps them to survive in their habitat. So let's summarize it. We learned about two types of adaptations. We learned about physical adaptation. And that is the one that talks about the part of the body, it could be part of the body of an animal or a plant, and that allows it to survive in its habitat. And the behavioral adaptation is it's how an organism act. It's the behavior, what it does to survive in its habitat. All right, here we have this worksheet and let's see if we could put it into practice and show off our skills. Let's look at this first one, polar's bear white fur. Okay, is it something they do or something they have in their body? It's something they have in their body, right? So we'll put this into physical adaptations column. All right, let's look at the next one. Bears hibernation. That's not part of their body, right? That's something they do. It's type of their behavior. So we'll put this one into behavioral adaptation. Okay, leopards, seals, fins. Now, fins 
are part of their body, right? That helps them to swim. So I will put that into physical adaptation. Very good. Let's keep on going. Possum playing dead. Okay, is it part of their body or is it something they do? Yeah, it's something they do. So let's put that into behavioral adaptation. Birds migrating in winter. Okay, this is definitely not a part of the body of a bird, so it's something they do. Again, this is a behavioral adaptation. And here we have spots on the seal skin. Okay, this is something that I can see on their body. It's not something they can do. So this will go into physical adaptations column. Way to go, everyone. Let's move on with our review. Now let's look at camouflage. Camouflage is an adaptation that allows an organism to blend in with its surroundings. Here we have this picture. Let's look at this owl. It's hard to see, right? It's really hard to see where the owl is. You really have to focus on the image to be able to find it. And that's what they want. They don't want us to find them. They don't want us to see them. Camouflage is a physical adaptation because it's part of their body. It's something that the color of their body allows them to do to blend in with its surroundings. Now, camouflage, the key word that you have to remember is the word blend in. Blend in is the opposite of stick out. Okay, so remember this for your test or for ever. All right, here we have the word mimicry. Mimicry is an adaptation that allows an animal to protect itself by looking like, see I have it in a bold print, another kind of animal or a plant. We talked about it in the classroom that some of the animals were designed by God to look very much alike other animals. They look very similar, right? They resemble each other. We talked about the monarch and viceroy. We know that viceroy is the one that's not poisonous, so we can tell that viceroy is the imposter, right? It's trying to trick the predators to think that he's poisonous, but it's not really poisonous. And that's what they do. That's their strategy to survive, their adaptation to survive in the environment. Here we have another example of this insect. As you can see, this one looks very much like the leaf, like the environment. So he's able to resemble the leaf, look like the leaf. And this is another example of a mimicry. Now, mimicry, there are many imposters in the animal world that use mimicry to fool predators. They pretend to be what they're not. These animals take on the characteristic of or mimic something it's not. Isn't that a tricky way to survive in the environment? All right, mimicry here, we have to remember the key word is look like, resemble. Okay, that's what you need to remember in order to be able to distinguish whether it's definition for camouflage or definition for mimicry. All right, everyone, now is your turn. In Schoology, you'll find this independent work. You're asked to write two examples for each of the following. You need to write two physical adaptations, two behavioral adaptations, two examples for mimicry, two examples for camouflage. Now remember to use complete sentences to express your examples clearly. And for this assignment, you'll be able to get 16 points. All right, everyone, thank you for reviewing with me. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, blessings to you all.